Hi, welcome to your 10 minute yoga flow for beginners. Let's get started on all fours and we'll move straight into our cat cows, just starting to mobilize through the spine. So as you inhale, dropping the belly, draw the shoulders back, like up to the sky. As you exhale, push down through the palms, take the gaze back behind you as you round through the spine. Inhale, dropping the belly, draw the shoulders back, looking forward. Exhale, push through the palms, round through the spine. Keep this going with the breath. Inhale, dropping the belly, draw the shoulders back, looking up. Exhale, push through the palms, round through the spine, really drawing the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, drop the belly, draw the shoulders back, look up. Exhale, push through the palms, round through the spine. And then coming back through center, we'll walk the hands about a handprint in front of where they already are. We're just going to curl the toes under, start to lift the knees off the mat, sending the hips up and back into our first downward facing dog. So we're in a kind of upside down V shape here. So really firming down through the hands, move the shoulders away from the ears. So find a nice openness in the chest. Lift the hips up high so you can bend the knees as much as you need to here. It's more important to get the spine nice and straight than the heels down onto the floor. So if the heels are lifted, no problem. We'll work into that um, as we start to increase through our flexibility in the hamstrings. On your next inhale, slowly look up to the hands. Just take a slow walk up to the top of the mat, coming into your forward fold. So again, you can bend the knees if you need to here. Just allow the spine to round, the head to rest down and be heavy. Maybe take a little shake of the head, yes and no, releasing through the neck, clasping either elbow, taking a gentle sway from side to side. Keeping the breath nice and steady. And then on your next inhale, we'll root down through the feet, raise the arms up to the sky, looking up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands come together in front of the heart center. So just relax the shoulders. And then we'll inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips as you forward fold all the way down. Inhale, come to your flat back position. So we're sliding the palms onto the shins, keeping the spine nice and straight, crown of the head extends forward. And then exhale, fold all the way back down. From here, we'll plant the palms, we'll step the feet back into a plank position, so top of a push-up. So if you need to, drop the knees here, come to that half plank. Draw the shoulders back wherever you are, breathing. And then as you exhale, we're going to drop the knees down to the mat, sink the sitting bones back to the heels, coming through child's pose, extending the arms forward, rounding through the spine. One breath. Inhale, looking forward, slowly come back to all fours, curl the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, we'll look up to the hands. We're going to repeat that slow walk all the way up to the top of the mat. So coming all the way back to your forward fold, allow the head to drop, the spine to round. Again, just allowing the head to be nice and heavy here, ragdolling the body over the legs. As you inhale, root down through the feet, raise all the way up to standing, look up to the thumbs, and exhale, bring the hands back together. We're going to do this one more time. So inhale, sticking with the breath, raising the arms up. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, bring your palms to your shins, find that flat back position, look up and lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold all the way down, step back to your plank or half plank position, your choice. If you're in plank, keeping the hips in line with the rest of the body, really drawing the shoulders back wherever you are, keep the chest open. Keep the breath going. And then as you exhale, we'll gently drop the knees down to the floor, sit back onto the heels, child's pose. One breath here. Inhale, look up to the hands, slowly make your way back through all fours. And then when you're ready, curling the toes under, sending the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe. As you inhale, we'll look up to the hands. We're going to step that right foot all the way up to the top of the mat in between the hands. So if the leg doesn't make it there itself, then you can pick up your ankle with your right hand and give it a little help up to the top of your mat. Drop the left knee down. 
draw the shoulders back so we're open through the chest and then from here we're going to climb the hands up onto that right thigh see if you can keep pulling that right hip back so you're not allowing that right knee to go any further forward than the ankle keep lifting the crown of the head up relaxing the shoulders breathing here Maybe seeing if you can sink down into your stretch a little bit further without that right hip twisting forward. On your next inhale, we're gonna raise the arms up to the sky, interlace the fingers, and then push the palms up towards the ceiling, but keep the shoulders relaxed down. Either staying here or take a gentle stretch over towards your right side. Keep the hips nice and steady. Inhale through center. Exhale, take that stretch to the left side. Inhale through center. Exhale, rain the fingertips down, bring them either side of that right foot. From here, the left hand stays down, we're gonna reach that right hand up to the sky. Keep that right hip pulling back so you're not lunging into that right knee. Try and stack the shoulders, maybe looking up towards that top hand if you're feeling quite steady. Keep the breath going. So just notice if the breath is starting to change. See if you can keep it at that nice steady rhythm. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the floor. And then from here, we're gonna send the right hips back so we can straighten through that right leg. Pull the toes back towards you so you come onto the heel. We're walking the hands back so that they come underneath the shoulders. You can come light on the fingertips. Breathing here into this stretch. So we don't wanna be sitting back on towards that left heel. We wanna keep the hips raised so we're really getting into the back of the hamstrings here. You can keep a micro bend into that right knee if you need to, but keep flexing the right toes back so we're still active through the back of the leg. And just use your breath. We're here for one more round. And then slowly bending into that right knee, bring the hands back down to frame that right foot. We'll lift the left knee off the floor and just step that right foot back to meet the left, coming back to our downward facing dog. On your next inhale, look up to the hands. We'll step that left foot up to the top of the mat. So same thing on the other side. If it doesn't make it there itself, give it a little helping hand and then drop that back knee, draw the shoulders back, lengthen through the spine. Straight away, we'll come to bring the hands onto that left thigh. Just relax the shoulders, drawing the left hip back this time. So again, you want the right hip in line with the left. Keep the breath nice and steady. Keep the chest open. Breathing into your stretch here. So staying really strong in the legs, hugging the inner thighs together. And then on your next inhale, we'll raise the arms up towards the sky. Bring the hands together, interlace the fingers and push the palms up towards the sky. Keep those shoulders relaxing down so they're not hugging against the ears. Take a gentle stretch over towards your left side, keeping the hips in line, so keep pulling that left hip back. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take it to the right side. Inhale, slowly coming back through center. Exhale, rain the fingertips down so they frame that front foot. Right hand stays down, lift the left arm up, coming into our twist. Keep the hips nice and steady. Maybe take your gaze up if you feel quite stable. Keep the breath going. Exhale, drop the left hand down. Send the hips back as we start to straighten through that left leg. Coming onto the heel, flexing the toes back towards you. Walk the fingertips back, open through the chest. Keep the hips high. Breathing here into this side. Just making sure that you're not swaying the hips over to the side, so keeping them nice and stable and steady into the center. Just noticing how it feels on this side compared to the other. One more breath. And slowly rolling over the sole of the foot, bending that left knee. We'll frame the front foot with the hands, lift the right knee off the floor and just step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a little pedal through the feet, bending through the knees. And then when you're ready, drop the knees down to the floor. Sink back to the heels, walk the fingertips forward. Take your child's pose.
steady breaths here. Thank you for your time and your energy for this practice today. I hope to see you very soon.